Hey everybody, Texas Stroke here, Lance's Performance Shop Lone Star Mopars.com. We are back for KC Tool Hall number 54. This one dates back a good bit as well. And uh, it's kind of some interesting stuff I'm looking at long term, sort of as why some of this stuff surfaced. But uh, we also cashed in on some of the big sales they had going on around that time. So uh, we've got some repeat offenders. We won't spend a ton of time on them. But uh, I can't tell you how much I like these things. I've got one that basically is on whatever I'm working on at all times, another one on a toolbox, and another one on a cart. And then this one I think I'm going to keep on the toolbox too with stuff I'm planning to use. Uh, and it could probably transfer to the card as well. What it is though, it is his Zet part number 197-3. Sets you back currently 2042, but I want to say these things were like 15 bucks. I mean something just stupid cheap where they're basically giving them away. Uh, more and more of these have come out from different manufacturers. OEM's got the cool sublime one. Um, Capri's kind of got like a the bluey turquoise color. A uh, couple of others, I think Napa has a dark blue. Um, it's about all I remember seeing. Somebody I think made a compilation with quite a few of these things. So uh, this one is readily available when you can get it for 15 bucks. That's probably cheaper than you get anywhere else. And the thing I love about it is just the color. And the contrast, it doesn't matter if I've got, you know, grade 5 zinc plated stuff, if I've got grade 8 stuff, if I've got AN fittings. And the big thing that I love about these, number one, like in the truck, and when I'm, you know, working on the old cars, I'll put this on the firewall like that. That gives me an insane amount of space. Uh, I'm someone that's accustomed to like the harbor freight, you know, like stereotypical you know magnetic bowls <laughs> and while they work really nicely they don't have anywhere near this depth I like these ridges here that keep the hardware from rolling out because uh, again you got to realize you know if it's back here it's magnetized but if it's up here you can just set things and then these ridges do help it's got kind of like the finger grooves all the way around it you can hang this thing you know flipped around if you want to the magnet is coated in rubber so it's not going to scuff anything up uh, it's got that nice little lip there I've made, I don't even know, two or three other tool hauls that have mentioned this thing. But again, if you ever need something functional to get you the free freight threshold or to get you some other incentive when you buy from KC Tool, these are well worth it. And again, I can't speak for certain, but I want to say, especially when it's on sale, these Hazet ones might be the most economical. So uh, this is nothing special. It's not like it's made in Germany or anything. It's the same manufacturer, probably some place in Taiwan. Uh, and they just kind of like uh, brand them for all the different companies. The box is also kind of cool if you're into that sort of a thing. But uh, yeah, we're going to leave that one there. This next item is another repeat offender. And I think I should have featured it a long time ago when it tied in better with stuff. But this is not a towel it's nothing crazy it's not like some microfiber this is just a dust mask <laughs> and uh, i'm not using it to run around you know and like go in certain stores or anything but i brought one in quite some time ago i think when we did the big picard haul and uh i've actually used it quite a bit you know when i'm whether i'm grinding something or whether i'm cutting something i wish i would have had it the other day at work uh, when I had to cut down a 4x8 sheet of plywood to fit the pallet rack because the MDF broke and uh, that was fun but sawdust was everywhere of course I was in a black hoodie so it was a nightmare but uh, tons of that crud I mean about I don't know halfway through the long cut I started sneezing a lot this would have been awesome to have again I've showcased it before it won't make you waste any more time there uh, what do we want to move to now I think I've actually got another repeat item. I want to say this was also in their big sale. And it's one of those deals. It was right now, if you see this and you really, really want it, it's from Ghidorah. It's their 142.10. This is in the TL because it's the blue dipped handle. The price is $34.48, which I think is really good. Uh, but I want to say on their like Black Friday Christmas time sale, I don't remember if these were like... 19 or 29 or 24 it was something where the price was like geez 
you know, that's a really good deal. And I've used it a ton. I know that I like it. I know that it's good quality. Uh, the other thing I really, really love that Ghidorah blue handle, not just aesthetically, but also the way it feels in hand. And sadly, in the American marketplace, they typically have to put red dipped and red textured stuff on. And aesthetically to me it does not look near as good i think it's got something to do with some other <laughs> competing brands but if you are in the market this is basically the Ghidorah cobra you know if you want to look at it that way uh it's adjustable pliers it's got the push button adjustment it's super smooth super well made super executed i hope that you took advantage of these when they were dirt cheap <laughs> and uh, picked one up for yourself because they're phenomenal. Uh, this one, I haven't decided if I'm just going to keep it in the bag as a backup for when I, if I ever wear the other one out. But it was one of those deals when there's something that I know that I love, case in point with a nut cup, and it's just a stupid low price. I don't mind bringing it in and having it for the future. So uh, that is what we get, did there. And again, anytime you see me bring things in over and over again, and it's not because I'm losing them or they're stolen, Spoiler alert, I like them. So, I think that takes care of our repeat offenders. Um, I just kind of foolishly threw everything over here. <laughs> and uh, I now regret that move. But, nope, oh, that came out. Uh, I was looking for the bit of thanks. Every time you buy from KC Tool, you should receive a bit of thanks. It's still currently a Philo number two. And that's actually a really nice bit, and I plan to use it, but the good news is I have tons of them uh, sitting here in carriers, so I don't know what I did with it. But this is going to be a combination of items here, and this sort of ties in with my long-term prospects. This is a situation where I have some of these, and I needed to bring in a few more just to sort of see which one I like best. For if I were to purchase a set, which one I would want to go with and if I can justify the price difference. So, uh, we're going to get started here since we just did Ghidorah. We'll jump in with this guy. Uh, is this relevant? Let's find out. Their part number would be GR613. Yeah, so this is it. 6136810. I'm not sure if that's something they did or KC Tool did, but. If you're curious what it is, you can now tell it's a socket. <laughs> and uh, in the case of this one, it is going to be half inch drive. And can you tell just by looking at it? Five eighths. It is 12 point. Now, something unfortunate uh, that the German tool manufacturers do, and this is something that's kept me from buying a lot more stuff since I do primarily uh, utilize the old school stuff, you know, SAE, fractional, whatever you want to call it. They offer these sockets, but they sell 12 point. I personally kind of like 12 point. It honestly depends what I'm doing. If it's an accessible, visible bolt with good clearance, I want six point. Uh, if it's something that's inaccessible, <laughs> I prefer 12 because it gives me double the chances of grabbing onto it, right? Uh, but this is a 5 8 socket. If you recall back quite some time ago now, we brought in a Heiko to try out, and I want to say I did 9 16 there, hence the 5 8 now the price point on this sucker 1404 that's a good chunk of money for a socket uh, at least in my opinion again sockets to me i'm very particular with a lot of things you know like hand tools you know like when i'm spending the money i want something good that's going to last and be durable with sockets i'm somebody who like 90 percent of what i still own and utilize is craftsman old school craftsman american made craftsman but craftsman uh, it served me well. The Tecton stuff that I brought in, you know, the impact specific set, because all I had impact specific was like this minuscule selection from Husky. Uh, it has served me well. The cheap sockets I've used other places, I, I don't really burn through them. You know, I'm not sure that I can justify, you know, like a $4 socket versus, you know, a $20 socket, you know, tool truck type pricing on stuff. And uh, if there was ever anything that I was constantly wearing out and I had warranty capabilities with one thing, you know, I'd factor that in. But as it stands, you know, that's, to me, 14 bucks is a good chunk of money for a socket now. I'm sure it would be, you know, sort of top tier, but, you know, that remains to be seen. Now, coming in, going with another premium brand here, we've got Hazette. It's their part number, HZ900. 
AZ-12. If you couldn't figure it out, we spent $12.37, so a little less money, but it is two sizes smaller. And uh, this would be a Zets half inch drive, 12 point half inch socket, right? So half inch drive, half inch socket. Now, as I mentioned, the end goal here is for me to procure a few of these, use them, see which one I like the best, and then make a judgment call of if I want to purchase a set. Uh, that's why we've got half inch here. The Heiko, if it was present, would be 9 16ths, and then we've got the Ghidor in 5 8 Stavilla, uh, thanks to the Black Friday sale with their, you know, like half inch drive socket that came with the, you know, 10. 13, 17, 19. I've got those. Granted, they're metric, but it gives me a good feel for them. And prior to that, we had their quarter drive socket set, you know, that's uh, still available. I can't believe that it's not sold out. Uh, but it's like dirt cheap. You get a super nice ratchet that in and of itself is worth the price of the kit. And then you get all the sockets plus a ratcheting bit holder. I, again, I don't know why it's available at this point in time. But it is if you're interested. And so I've had experience with Stavilla sockets. Now, coming back into Ghidors, it's very interesting, you know, kind of what goes on. Number one, I absolutely love the aesthetic of their knurling here, right? So if you were to spin this by hand, you got a nice little grip here. Would be a little difficult to access, in my opinion, you know, unless you're freehanding. If you're freehanding it, it's fine. But if you've got this attached to your socket, you know, I mean ratchet, I should say, it might be a problem. Uh, it's stamped pretty decent. And then we go from a matte chrome to it's still sort of a matte chrome, but it's obviously like a bit more polished, not textured as well. And then we've got the 12-point design here. Looks like a very, very nice socket. Now with the Hazette, I'm grabbing it by the knurling. This is a total, total different design, if you will. The Ghidorah, we have the knurling here. And then on the Hazette, we have basically two ribbed strips, which, again, that's right where my hand grabs. Um, if we were to take a look at it, it's sort of matte here. It might be a little bit deeper of a stamp, but then we transition again, just like the Ghidor did, but this one's got a little bit more of a polished finish on it. I'm not going to spend a ton of time here because, again, I plan to make an in-depth video on them, but that sort of highlights those two offerings for us. So, uh, again, with the tool hauls, I try to kind of breeze through it, unless this was like all we had, then yeah, I'd probably throw the comparison in. But uh, I got your timestamps, I've got your links, and then... We follow up on things, or if people just really, really want to know something, you know, we can hit it sooner maybe. But uh, sticking with the Hazette theme, and I think this is something that fits in perfectly segued there, because this is a deal I want to make a standalone video on. Uh, and in part, A, I have played with this one. <laughs> Again, this stuff's been here, you know, a month or two. I've played with it, and it's just the price point that I think you're going to enjoy. So... Uh, and I think this was also a little bit cheaper on a sale, but uh, as it is, it's it's a steal right now, and it's a great way for you to kind of get your hand in the Hazette lineup. So this is from Hazette. It is their part number, 810BH. This is going to be a quarter-inch locking bit-holding screwdriver. Are you sitting down? You're probably thinking like, oh, man, you know, what is that cheap? You know, they're like 68 bucks on sale. It's Hazette. <laughs> I bet it's $100. What if I told you you could get this right now for under 20 bucks? You'd probably say I was full of it and playing a terribly cruel joke on you, but I kid you not right now. I just went in, pulled up the prices. This thing can be yours for $16.91, uh, which again is insane. And the other thing, it's very comfortable. The ergonomics are good and it's locking. <laughs> so uh, there's really nothing bad I can say about it now. Just real quick, I've got the bit of thanks here. You'll note it's not going to go in. If I lift up on the collar, that slides down. There is virtually no play, and this is just with a standard bit. <laughs> okay, uh, so situations like this, typically if you had a screwdriver, we'll just grab a PB Swiss. You're going to have almost the same length, but where this has the tip right after the hex bolter, we've got the whole shaft there, right? So that could be an advantage. Obviously, at some points, it could be a detriment to you, but it's the practical abilities that you have. Now, to eject, we simply pull up, push up, whatever you want to say, 
and pull out. So there we are with that. And since I have it handy here, I guess we'll we'll throw in. I have not opened the blue one. Okay, we're gonna go yellow. Teal and yellow, is that a good color combination? I don't know. You see me do this stuff all the time. But again, this is a VHA magnetic nut setter. That creates a really nice combination. You get the idea, again, I might make a standalone on this where we play with more stuff. But at sub $20, this is a steal. It's something that you, at that price point, you could also lose this thing. Uh, so it becomes a candidate, you know, for like a mobile toolbox, for your glove box. Uh, particularly, like, let's say maybe you got like a, one of those fancy Vera sets from an advent calendar or something. And you just weren't a fan of the handle, or you want to keep it, or it's like a collector's item type of a deal. You know, it's got the rock hands. I don't know what the situation might be. Maybe you lost uh, your bit holding handle from a VHA set or something. This is a very economical alternative. And again, I can't tell you it's just for the price point really, really nice. Uh, again, right here, it's almost like a cross between a trilobe. It's got the fat handle. It's got a really nice spin zone here. Uh, I am a big, big fan of that. <laughs> and, uh, I got to, one of you was asking me a lot of questions around that time about like bit holding, uh, you know, options. And that's basically kind of the king of the road there, in my opinion. This brings us now to what I think is going to be the last item. Uh, that we're going to showcase, and I, unless I'm forgetting something, which is possible, I have withheld myself from opening these, okay? Uh, I'm dorkily excited about them, and I've restrained myself. There was, a, uh, who am I kidding? There were a lot of times I could have used these and wanted to use them, but as I sometimes do, <laughs> I restrain myself so we can present like a perfectly clean tool, not something that like... I've used on six jobs and it's covered in oil and I just wiped it off and it doesn't look that good. I want things, some things to be pristine. So I'm going to come in and we're going to showcase something from Stavila. I think this, this might have been tool of the day or on sale too. I, I honestly can't remember now, but I always try to go with the current pricing. That way, if you get it on sale or tool of the day, it just looks better to you. But it is their part number, 6515. It's going to be 125 millimeters long. I know what some of you are thinking. You're like, oh my gosh, it's another screwdriver. It's probably some bit holder. When will this guy stop with the screwdrivers and bit holders? It's ridiculous. You know, do we need to have an intervention? And uh, while I appreciate your concern, I will uh, take a load off your back here. I just made the cut. This is the packaging and we kind of blew our cover. <laughs> Check it out. It is the Stavila Mini Water Pump Pliers. And I'm very, very, very excited to have these things in my arsenal ready to use. Uh, so they are tiny. I mean, that's the thing. 125 millimeters. They are pretty much neck and neck lengthwise with our Hazette bit holder. Okay. They are roughly, <laughs> uh, if we had a third socket here, they're basically three sockets long. Okay. These are tiny little things. And I'm super, super excited about them. The Cobra, uh, of course, we have the Mini Cobra, right? You know, and it's got the push button. This is the smallest one they make, uh, which it is the 125 millimeter as well. These look stupid because I have blue masking tape on them because that's what I almost always wind up using them for. Prior to having the masking tape, I use these on all kinds of things, but primarily in like my air compressor drain, which I still need to fix. It's kind of a problem. Uh, these are probably going to go down that route as well. Now, these are not push-button auto-adjust, okay? Let's not get that twisted with that comparison or anything. These are sort of more like a Knipex alligator design or, you know, like an enhanced uh, channel lock type of a deal. But we've got the Stavilla branding there, which I like. We've got really nice grinding here on the teeth. Again, lining it up. There's a bit of play there, but I'm confident, you know, when we actually grip down, it shouldn't be an issue. Coming around, we've got the, I'm assuming this will be the part number, made in Germany and the long part number there. And then Stavilla, we've got what, again, this is another underrated grip in my opinion. Uh, we've got their green textured dipped handles. So uh, I want to come in here. I don't know why I just zoomed out. I'm going to zoom right back in. 
Look at that. So nothing crazy. They didn't do anything fancy. There's no gimmicks here. This is just like a nice, simplistic uh, design for their jaws and the teeth. Look at the fitment here. It's really, really solid. The adjustability, this is how it's going to happen for you. Uh, so you've got four positions, if you will. I'm not going to bother like go in and, oh, well, you know, this will handle two inch capacity material and <laughs> everything like that. But as we, I mean, they're super easy. Again, once you're accustomed to this type of a design, that's just kind of how it goes. But uh, that gives you an idea. That's position two. If I can come in here and grab that right, this will be position three and then going all the way down that's position four so we're not lighting the world on fire you know like in terms of the size range uh, the one complaint I sort of have the handle instead of like being you know uniform and going across it's got a pretty noticeable concave dip there if you think this looks like a ledge that comes down at an angle that's because it is now this side does the same thing I don't know if over time I would get to like that. Uh, the Knipex, on the other hand, they do not have that. They're just kind of smooth all the way across. But again, don't want to focus on a comparison just yet. Just want to kind of highlight these suckers. <laughs> but uh, I'm really excited about these. And uh, they are kind of going to be a little gateway for us for some other things. But keep in mind the Cobra XS, which they're sitting over here at the drill press grab them for you real quick these are the new king of the block in terms of the knipex mini tools and uh, they are stupid small but again what makes them small makes them unique now the big difference you've got tons more positions here uh, there's no push button on these though uh, and just for a size comparison between these two <laughs> It's it's insane uh, how tiny these are. But again, since I've got those wrapped up in masking tape for so long, uh, those little guys right there were at the drill press uh, for chuck key, but that's also close to my air compressor because I've been using them for that. So um, if you've used these, these Stavilla Minis, let me know. What do you think of them? How are they holding up? How do they stack up with other similar products? Uh, past that, I think we covered everything we need to here. Um, here's the bit of thanks. It's right behind me. <laughs> so every order should come with this, your bit of thanks, a Philo number two stamped bit, which you saw us use right here, this one in the uh, Zet bit holder. But again, this is a repeat offender. The other stuff was just kind of big, so I don't have it on the mat. The sockets, we're going to compare and contrast with the Heiko, with the Stavilla. And uh, again, I do wish that the German companies would offer six-point sockets, but as it is, I believe this is kind of what you're limited to. You know, whatever brand your preference may be, whatever you might want to try out, I think you're going to have to stick with a 12-point. Uh, this would be a great chance for some of you that are like, you know, improving your base tools and your upgrading type of thing. Pick up tool truck, whatever it might be, snap on or max six point, and then get the German 12 point. And you know, you could compare and contrast that, see which one you prefer better. It does kind of make, I get why they don't do it. You know, they're in Europe, everything's metric over there, except for the people that bring in like American cars and American products. <laughs> and so they're probably thinking sales wouldn't be that great. Uh, obviously, the 12 point is a little bit more versatile. You can do square stuff. Uh, which again, that would be sort of more old school. Uh, and then again, it'll handle anything six point can do. It's just a debate and you're going to round the corners off. And again, like I said, if I'm looking down at this bolt, I want a six point socket. If the bolt was up underneath this and I'm limited over here and I've got an 18 inch extension, I want a 12 point socket. And if I round the corners off, I will get a new bolt when I put it back in. But uh, that's just me. That's my personal preference there. And uh, like I said, a couple repeat offenders with the little Picard dust mask. Again, if you're ever like, you know, a dollar or two away from free shipping, stuff like that, you know, it kind of seems, yeah, I don't know about it. But it's functional. It'll, you know, depending on what you're doing, what you're cutting. Uh, it could even be if you're like grooming your dog or your cat or something. I don't know. But uh, the magnetic nut cups, if you can get these things on sale, they are stupid handy. And again, I feel like they're a super good price as well. But that is it. That is KC Tool Hall number 54. Again, probably going to do a follow-up on some of these things. So uh, that's sort of the format I try to try to stick with here. And uh, as mentioned, if we ever just had like these two items, 
we might have the same length of the video, but it's because we played around with this for 12 minutes and played around with that for 12 minutes. So uh, that's just the way it is. Again, alpha gloves protecting my hand here. Um, probably going to ditch them here pretty soon for these videos. The thumb is surprisingly good. Um, I say that. <laughs> I still have a lot of issues with it, but it's not like objectionable to look at it or anything anymore. And uh, that said, though, always have a link down below for alpha gloves. This is the clean pair. I've got uh, four in use, have a couple at work, some here, uh, and I've yet to destroy any of them. I mean, they're, I wouldn't want to grab like the brand new Ghidorah pliers or that handle or this green with some of them because they would get them filthy, which is why I utilize the fresh pair. But in terms of like me putting a hole in them or tearing the palms or something stupid like that, they're holding up fantastic and it's been over a year now so uh, that's something i can't say for a lot of gloves i've owned but uh with that said i'll quit rambling i do hope you enjoyed saw some stuff that you you're intrigued by or you want to pick up yourself again if you have any first-hand experience with any of this stuff by all means leave a comment let us know your thoughts whether it's you know again these i'm pretty excited to try <laughs> but uh if you're rolling with the sockets from Style Villa, Hazette, Heiko, uh, Ghidorah, whatever it might be, let me know what you picked up, why, and how you think they stack up with whatever it is you're accustomed to using. Again, that could be Snap-on, Mac, Matco, Cornwell, it could be Craftsman, it could be Tekton, Capri, uh, old SK stuff, old Proto, I mean, whatever. Uh, just give some baseline for comparison, and I think that typically helps people out. Again, uh, I'm kind of a weird person in the sense, you know, that like, I want like good quality stuff, but at the same time, I have a hard time believing, you know, that like the dirt cheap socket set that you get like all the sizes minus the ridiculous ones that runs nineteen ninety nine uh, is worth, you know, getting one socket at twenty bucks a piece, sort of a deal, you know. Uh, warranty does come into play again if you split things. Typically, I mean. At work, everything is like really old SK, like Challenger Proto stuff uh, for all the impacts. I mean, I think I factor a lot of that into it. I'm like, man, these have been in an industrial application and they're still here and functional. Now, swivels are another story. Those don't last very long. But a standard socket, unless you're like doing something crazy, uh, if you've got a good one, you got a good one. And I'm not sure that there's a huge difference between the bottom of good and the top of good if that makes any sense but again i am experimenting here i am playing with it and we'll see who knows maybe we'll come in and we'll get our six point americana like i mentioned <laughs> so, there's just no six point option that i'm currently aware of from the german manufacturers so uh, might also even bring in some japanese sockets i've had a lot of you tell me uh, the coken stuff is really good in terms of socketry so who knows that's another story for another day won't waste any more of your time i hope you get out there have yourself a fantastic weekend again every saturday we typically have tool videos wednesdays typically automotive content might be stuff here and there between it who really knows i try to keep you on your feet and guessing just when you think you know I'll make you think you don't know. Uh, that's what I what I try to do here. Keep it somewhat interesting for you. But uh, again, pretty excited about this stuff. You might be seeing some of it here pretty soon as we kind of get into standalone and comparison and contrast videos, that sort of a thing. But uh, my feet are getting cold. Probably better head in here pretty soon. LoneStarMopars.com is the website. If you're on social media, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all three at Lone Star Mopars. If you're not subscribed, and there are a lot of you, you're here all the time, you comment, you message me, you do all that stuff, but you're not subscribed, don't know what you're waiting for. <laughs> My, maybe, just maybe, they would notify you about the videos. If not, you can jump your charger across the creek, get you your 12-point Hazet socket, a 12-point Ghidorah socket, make yourself a string can phone, and maybe the folks at YouTube will let you know that we actually uploaded a video. If not, go by the schedule I mentioned to you. But as I said, I do hope you're all ready to have yourself a great weekend, and I will catch you back here for more action from the shop.